Mm, are we able to create something super pretty and artistic using a junk really? Recycled pieces, leftovers. I have some super pretty uh, leftovers from chipboards and there is more here in the box. There are some uh, metals here. I'm going to use some junk. I'm going to use some recycled items today and hope to create something very pretty. A lovely composition, nice idea on the canvas, mixed media canvas, but not spending so much money. I hope we are able to do that. So I'm going to open my canvas and look what's inside. This one particular, uh, some wooden elements. Those are, those are uh, elements that are um, there for putting in here inside there so the canvas wouldn't be floppy I think that's the idea now I'm thinking instead of going for the oops sorry for the ordinary maybe we go for the maybe we go for the a reversed why don't we do reverse sides this time and um, that's what I'm gonna do so what I will do I'm gonna prime my canvas first with a white gesso and then I'm gonna start adding elements and I'm gonna try to see what I can do I th I have so many beautiful leftover chipboards that I think uh, they would be so cute to use so I'm gonna grab those um, those chipboards are from Scrapinets. I have some on my Etsy store because um, I simply Oh, look at that, how pretty. Because I have some left from uh, classes and I cannot keep them all. And, from, and I have some left, so you can head off to my Etsy and have a look if you don't know Scrapin yet. Um, as you can tell, those leftovers are super, super pretty. So I'm going to use them today with you and a few other items of course so let's prime that first and let's get back to let's go back and uh, create together i'm gonna use some white gesso uh, and i hope that i'm not gonna be creating uh, the most uh, even surface no quite opposite i'm just gonna add um, my gesso all over and if i have some irregular surface that's absolutely fine with me I don't mind that so I'm just going like this the canvas is super big so I'm gonna have to come up with some idea to fill it um, good tip for you the bigger the project the more difficult it works for some of course for some because the small project could be challenging as well but definitely filling up such a large space on the canvas it's not easy I'll hope to show you today and I hope we will do some uh, lovely um, we will fill and create some lovely composition but it's definitely not easy when your surface is so large and especially if you're beginner you may find that you don't have enough items so I even suggest to even either move on to a smaller surface or make sure you have enough items before you begin your creating uh, because then you will feel that something is missing and oftentimes I think the something is missing is because you just created a piece without many two items to fill in the space that's how I, I find it so the bigger the surface the more elements you need well of course not always depends on the composition on the idea and so on and so on but generally speaking this is a large surface and even for myself that I have created already so many pieces it's it will be challenging I probably will add some flowers um, I just will probably go for <laughs> uh, different items, not only the chipboards, a composition, because it's not going to be enough, I believe. So this is a white space now that we have. Um, it would be lovely to create some texture, maybe. And since I'm trying to recycle and reuse, let me grab some stencil that is not really a stencil. Since we are trying to do budget project, I have some stencils here and those are um, th they were made from glue gun. There is a video on my channel about it, so you can have a look. So I will try to use that. I'll see with how it's going to be. Uh, since it's not perfect stencil, it's not going to be that easy. But I'm going to try it and I'm going to chance it anyway. Oh, there we go, my craft my my palette knife. Let me make some space because of course it's less messy and all all of that now where I'm gonna put my stencil maybe oops 
<laughs> I probably won't need any stencil if that's gonna be the case but that's okay look I actually don't worry about it I really don't uh, I'm not here to create a perfect um, texture quite opposite I would love the texture to be very much undefined and different like this so abstract really and stencil like this will most definitely help me out with it so I love stencils of course and I have my own as well few designs but I love that I can just um, be not so perfect about things and just create a texture that it's different like this now with a texture paste or I, I'm using actually white gesso because it's quite thick this one uh, it's not easy to work with this stencil because it's uh, it's very high very very uh, 3d the stencil it's great for spraying worse for modeling paste but you know it's okay now I'm gonna go back to my first one because I think I, I like to have something on the side there Mm -hmm. Now, technically you could just dab it yourself without stencil and it would be fine as well. With stencil is probably easier, I guess, with stencil like that. So, you see, I hope you can get the idea. No need to be perfect. If there's any mistake happening, that's fine. Learn from it. Move on. Let's create next project if you dislike this one. Move on to the next one. But give it a chance, give it time because it takes time to make lovely things okay and we learn with the, every project so of course I wasn't that confident when I started it took me him years to become more confident about my makes and all so it will come with time now oh I love that and actually I think I'm gonna pretty much leave it at that. I'm gonna clean off my stencils. Before my uh, modeling paste uh, will dry what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, start adding my uh, wooden leftovers just the way as they are uh, on the wet modeling paste. So that, w that way this will hold it a little bit as well and I'm gonna be actually this time for a change not using m m m gel medium professional gel medium I'm gonna go for uh, just glue gum and I think placing this here would, could look really nice so as you can tell I am just placing that in the wet texture so this kind of fills in nicely together since we have this um, oh no I think this could be nice to just make a border with it Let's make some border like this, maybe. Mm hmm. That's nice. Same for here, maybe. Oh, the little Baba is awake, I think. So we may hear a little Baba noises, possibly. In a minute. Yeah, I like that. That's what we have at the moment. I'm ripping off. That's look how pretty that is, and it is a leftover literally. So I'm gonna add more glue. Mm hmm. And I will stick it there. So partially, I'm gluing it down with the wet wet the modeling paste that it's there, and partially I'm adding it with my uh, glue gun, hot glue. Mm hmm. Uh, maybe this could stand out a little bit like this. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else I have here as my leftover? Let's see. Mm, I found loads, loads, loads gorgeous like this one <laughs> uh, leftovers. Now I know I kept them all. I well, nearly all, uh, not all, no, uh, but I kept a lot. I kind of. I, I suppose you see things when you're a crafter you just see things and you know that you, one day you may use it you may actually 
need that. Uh, but now I'm at the stage where I need to clear out my studio. I may even record my studio, how messy it is, how bad it is. Maybe I'll just um, will show you how bad, what bad state that is uh, in the other video. And I'm gonna maybe show you slowly how I clean it. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Maybe this would be something helpful for for others. Now, those are leftovers as well, and how cool are those? Um, and look, beautiful leftover from from um, from butterfly, which would be lovely to use, of course, as you can tell. Now, I'm just gonna take this one out. Oh. That's nice. I'm gonna use that. There's a heart as well, and another heart, which. <laughs> oh, there we go. N now I'm gonna put this back. Another um, butterfly. I'm gonna take this one out. Oops, this one wants to come out as well. <laughs> um. Let me see. So yes, try to find things around your house that could be used um, for this project and create with me. The deal is, if you're watching it <laughs> with me, please, 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 I would love you to create with me. If you're watching it, grab your tools and create with me because that way you learn and uh, get out from your comfort zone of doing similar projects. Just just enjoy and create things that are different maybe for you. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Mm -hmm. I just found the chipboard in my in my ba in my bin. How pretty is that and why it's in my bin? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this is our uh I love that. Something is interesting happening here. I'm not too sure as yet what I'm are we gonna achieve here. But I love what I see, so so that's c totally cool. I'm gonna stick this on top and on the bottom. Now that's super. So we have like lovely butterflies there. Now what else is nice? I have I have this nice circle there, which could be used like this. That would be nice. Why not? Uh huh. My 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 background is still wet. Nothing is dry. I haven't dry anything in between time when I was off camera. So as you can see, things are still moving. The texture is still moving. So that's totally cool. Now I'm adding more glue as we speak. Maybe here. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I have no plan. Um, I always repeat that to you. I have no plan. Oh, the Baba. Yay! Hi, Baba. Maybe here would be nice. Why not? And one more. We have one more circle that I'm making my decision as we as we speak, <laughs> as I talk to you. I don't have a plan here, uh, so maybe like this. Um, I had to have a little break and feed the little one, so now it's time to finish off, finish off. Uh, I like those shapes, I really like them. So have a look in your stash. Or sometimes if you don't have chipboards like that, you can use uh, leftovers from your... Um, or you can create uh, shapes like that, irregular cutting for from your, for example, cardboard maybe. Um, like if you have, um, if you have a cardboard from cornflakes boxes, those are usually very handy. That's nice. I love working with no plan. I love uh, seeing how things come to life and how awesome they look. This is really nice. I'm gonna. I will need a little more glue. Oh, I need more glue to glue down, maybe somewhere here, it would be nice. Noises of the toys are like in the fairy house. <laughs> dun 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 dun, ding and ding and ding and. <laughs> okay, that looks good to me. 
I'm not too sure how is your liking about that, but I love that. I truly do love that. Um, let me see, I have another side one which is super awesome and looks great. So I could use that probably. Or maybe, wait, maybe the middle part. That's, that's pretty nice. Somewhere there. Maybe. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Oh, too much glue, but that's okay. That's all fine. Now, I think since glue gun um, it's in every home nearly, I would imagine, we can create some embellishment, some texture with the glue, hot glue as well. I think we're going to do that, probably. Let me just move on to finish off texture with our chipboards. With our chipboards. That's nice. We have them. Oh, this is nice as well. I like that. I love that actually. Actually, actually. Uh huh. This is moving a little bit, but that's okay. Maybe like that. Mm -hmm. I think someone has a diaper being changed. <laughs> I think. Diaper. Diaper, is that even a word? Mm -hmm. That's that's nice. Uh, we have also this this kind of thing, which I'm trying to, when I'm building this composition, I really wish to make sure that it is visible enough of a shape that, you know, it's not going to be, it is random, but at the same time, I really wish this to, you know, looking look good. So... However I'm coming up with adding the elements, I really am looking at it and thinking, hmm, hmm, where this could be, where this could be, will that be nice, will this be nice, okay, I think we are pretty much done here, I think we are, maybe I'm gonna add it there, don't burn yourself, oh, no, maybe, oh, bless you, <laughs> Bless you, baby. Now, that's nice. <clears throat> Heart. Mm. Maybe. Or that there's another one which looks a little more straight. And maybe we could add it there. I think it would be nice. Isn't it? So I will add some glue there. <laughs> And voila, <laughs> and we have some there. Now, time to dry this and tidy up around us. Mm, my canvas is pretty much dry and I'm gonna just gently now add some white gesso on top of my, on top of my chipboards, just randomly here and there. I'm not really precise here. Uh, I'm just priming it. But if it's not going to be that perfectly colored, it's okay. Because those chipboards, they will take the uh, spray. If we use sprays or paints, this, th those chipboards will take it nicely because they are bright. So you don't really necessarily have to uh, paint them with gesso. But I think I'm going to just slightly do that. Oh, I'm just going to add some gesso here and there in a few places. My canvas is dry right now, so now I'm gonna add some just just random um, maybe hot glue gun little dots. Um, so it will be like the extra lovely texture. Uh, just you know, nice idea for embellishment. Again, no cost embellishment because hot glue usually everyone has at home. If you're a crafter, you should have, I believe hot glue. If you mix media crafter, um, you do have a hot glue gun. Okay, now I'm gonna just move my jar so I can have it lower. Maybe. Now you can see how nicely those dots are falling down. So at first, let me show you, when you make your, ho make your dot, you go turn around the ending and then it will nicely itself, when it's hot, it will nicely kind of um, the leftover will sink in in the sinking in the 
um, in the dot itself. Those noises are Hannah is making this. She has a new toy uh, that is hanging, and anytime she moves, this will nicely actually play this. So uh, I, I think the sound is like those toys that you have in the garden, isn't it? Okay. So we have some uh, nice dots here, which which are awesome to add, add to add some bit of embellishment way. Now I think that could be nice to maybe add them here as well. Not sure if it's that easy because the 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 chipboard itself here is pretty thin, but I'll try. I'll try, and if it's something that will stain that stick out from the chipboard, that's okay. Now you have to remember when you dry your things, glow, hot glue will be after drying, during the drying will start be sticking sticky again. So be careful when you dry your canvas that the hot glue will change its shape again. So don't touch the, the elements where the gl hot glue was placed. Now we have in few places, I think it looks really cool, really, really nice. <coughs> Maybe I should try different shapes, like just some lines, like this. You know, something different, since it's a... Can you see? Oh, you could see, good. Since it's a, you know, hot glue, we may just use what we have. And hot glue is a good idea to create some interesting look those are the lines interesting looking embellishments lines and now I think I need <laughs> more glue let me grab that glue now what else I can do I don't want this to be too much or too kind of you know a nice amount. Let's see what else we can do. Now is this dry? Oh it is nearly. It is dry actually. So we can color that. Now I I think I'm gonna... Oops! I touched it. I forgot that this should be drying. What I'm trying to do is I'm, I wanted to get rid of that. My glue gun is not that hot that's why I don't burn myself. Don't do it at home. I just thought that somehow it was not straight for me and I sometimes feel that I need things to be straight so let me do it again let me do it again this noisy toy will be annoying some of you so I hope that you're not annoyed because the noise is all the time there we like it actually because Hannah likes it pretty much so so if she's kicking madly or something this toy gives this <laughs> this uh, noise noise okay so that's what we have right now I'm gonna leave it to dry and then our next step will be to add white gesso on top of that as well guys so I'm gonna move on to my to few of those dots that are already uh, that are already dry like those here I have to remember <laughs> which are already dry so I'm gonna go over with my gesso and that way when I be coloring hopefully this will take some color on top if it's not I don't mind because even if they are gonna be end up transparent I don't mind that if they will be transparent that's all good that's all good I'm going over with layer number two I should leave it to dry really itself uh, but being impatient person that's what you have that's what you get now you can see you can of I hope you can so that's what we have right now and looks really nice I really like that I really like that if you feel like adding some more gesso in some places go for it now um, many of you mentions to me that you wish to see no cost projects and I hope that this is in your liking and I hope that this is something you've been waiting for um, but please feel free to look in my youtube channel on other older videos because actually I've done loads of videos and there is plenty with no cost already done canvases journal pages book covers so you just need to have a look because um, I, I 
you know, like I loved a variety on my channel of all sorts of videos and ideas. So I cannot repeat same ideas over and over again, if you know what I mean. So I hope you will have a look. If you're looking for similar items, uh, similar videos, you can just have a look at what's already there on the channel. So I invite you there and encourage you to do so. Now, um, I think we are done here. I'm really pleased with what I see right now. I really love that. Um, I'm thinking what color to choose and I think I'm gonna go for greens, maybe teals, turquoise, greens, blues, that kind of color scheme. And I think this is a pretty much similar scheme to my other canvases, isn't it? I think so. The very no costy one was that colors as well. Uh, but maybe I just I just like it. I don't know. <laughs> I'll see. I changed my mind and we're gonna go for some browns, some kind of beigey maybe. That kind of colors. Different, different, different than green. Since I've used greens and blues loads times. Strangely enough, for mixed media, <laughs> that's what I love. Okay, so let's let's color it. Let's color it. I'm gonna start off with some bright colors first, and oh, and it doesn't work. <laughs> My spray doesn't work. Okay, I change for this one. Maybe this will work. A berry color. Mmm, how pretty is that? That's very pretty, very pretty, very 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 pretty indeed. And now I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna go for some white maybe here and just move the color nicely and some browns, chalk brown I wonder <clears throat> mm, that's nice so I'm gonna go for this one as well here mm -hmm. that is a different brown let's see ah. nice Mm -hmm. a little bit of that as well I grabbed some other colors some like purples which could be nice as well I think I have this strange color kind of coral 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 oh, oh. how interesting is that color scheme <laughs> That is very interesting indeed. I like that. Okay, so I love this and I love this and I love them all. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe time to start. Um, what about this one? Will that work? Ah, I think I haven't used some colors for so long that they basically drew a little, dried a little bit, which is probably normal with most of the sprays. I think. Mm -hmm. So, kind of time to spray, to, to, to color, uh, to dry, kind of, but let's see what else I can do here. I'm just adding white now to blend in nicely. I'm going to dry this a little bit. What about some yellow? Let's see. A touch of yellow, maybe. Interesting touch of yellow look how this changes and now let's do some black of course mm -hmm. I like that I love that actually <laughs> how do you like that guys because I think it's it look it look it's looking really nice I'm gonna try this again I think I'm gonna go add a little more purple there. Oops! No, that looks good. A little darker even. So I'm going over with my color in places, just a few places, kind of giving contrast in in few spots. Uh, this brown or this one, maybe chalk dark brown. Maybe this will be better. Mhm. Mm I like that. I love that. And black. Where's my black or grey or something similar to that? Something along those lines. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Interesting, isn't it? Interesting looking. Now, I know we said about uh, the canvas to be pretty much 
on low cost but I don't own any other sprays rather than real sprays but you could make your own sprays with acrylic paints with watercolor paints with some ink from inkjets maybe uh, printers from food coloring you name it there are so many ways I don't have it so I'm using what I have and um, sometimes it's good to invest in just few colors just to have a nice choice and the choice on the market of all sorts of uh, brands is massive so it's it's really loads to choose from so you may have a look at at those and I'm gonna dry that now my canvas is dry so I'm gonna take away take off my <clears throat> towel because it's pretty difficult to see um, <laughs> the color of the canvas when it's on the colorful surface here. Oh, look how dirty that is. I have to clean it quickly. Here is our canvas. Very interesting color scheme, I think. Uh, but it will look all different once we have um, our gesso on top. So I'm gonna dry gesso now. And dry gesso is for uh, for it to bring out the texture, to differentiate the elements. So we will see the different elements on our project. So really what you need is white gesso or maybe a white acrylic paint. That would do as well and uh, that would do as well and just go over with a dry brush and just try to uh, see the try to dry just sewing <coughs> your surface make sure everything is dry make sure you don't have too much on uh, too much on your brush and that way you will bring your texture to life and all the raised elements will be more visible that way and same for where we have our lovely glue gun elements that you can bring them standing out more and our chipboards of course as well in a few places there we go and there we go can you see I hope you can so now this will also kind of blend in nicely all the colors together bring the whole piece really together that's kind of the idea now I do love adding a little bit too much gesso this time so the gesso will be itself creating nice texture now on top of that so this will be maybe slightly different to what I normally would do but I think this looks pretty good pretty <clears throat> pretty good now look at that I'm going over the whole project as you can tell and I really wish to have my elements more visible so when I have my butterflies I really wish wish them to stand out more same same here so all of the chipboards and all to be more visible really you must go maybe over several times to to have it more more seen more visible so go over you can also <clears throat> Take a heat tool and dry in between if you feel like uh, sometimes it can help if you are not too good in dry gessoing. Help in um, drying in between with heat tool could be could be helpful. So I'm going over several times because my uh, chip my um, sprays are water based. Of course the pigment is. Uh, it's not permanent so sometimes your brush can get dirty so be careful on that you can uh, go over over again the more you go the less pigment will be uh, going off from your project really so I'm helping myself with the lid I that's how I like gessoing <laughs> working with my gesso having things on my lid having gesso on my lid so I'm really trying the edges, trying to have my edges of the chipboards visible, more or less, if you can tell probably. Now you can see easily how the texture now it's more standing out, all the edges, all the chipboards, we can see them much, much better now. And even though we have used <laughs> leftovers, this project starts to re look really, really nice. Um, and from rubbish really from from rubbish that's let's face it this this should go to the bin leftovers from our chipboards from rubbish to something really really pretty now 
I'm going all over, all over my, my, um, my, um, ah, my canvas. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I just lose my words. I lose my words. This just is disappearing a little bit, but that's okay. I'm concentrating on those edges, on those edges everywhere, and making sure that my texture is visible. So we're highlighting really everything. That's the idea. We're highlighting all our chipboards so that way we can tell that we used all sorts of different chipboards. And we, I'm going now trying to go over where we had our irregular uh, stenciling happening. So this would be more standing out. I have to say. Uh, like with most of my project or with all of them, I love them for different things. Equally this, I love this one, you know, the color here is sensational. Not my typical um, color scheme, but you know what, hey, we have to try different things and go for different ideas because otherwise we're not gonna learn. So, um, stepping out of your comfort zone and <clears throat> Challenging yourself, just do it. Just, just go for what you have around the house. Get things. And I wonder, should we leave it at that or what? Should we leave it at that? I'm gonna have this more white, the middle part, more white than, yeah, even more white, even more white. Should we leave that? Do we add some title? What you think? What would you do? What would you really do? I love the contrast we built it. So we have this bright metal part, which is nice. <clears throat> and we have the darker edges, which is awesome now. It helps to build the contrast, to have some sort of structured color here. And that looks pretty good, I think pretty good. Now I'm gonna dry this quickly. So we're highlighting the texture. I dried everything. So I'm gonna just go over yet again so to make sure that uh, things are really popping out I really wish my my metal part to be white and to be very bright to be very contrasting to my edges of the canvas now that looks awesome to me I love 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 that now flat brush it's the best friend for you when it comes to uh, when it comes to adding gesso, so flat brush, any flat brush, well, as long as it's kind of not too hard, softish, soft flat brush. I love, I have this set, I love that set very much that I have, and can't remember where I got it, <clears throat> somewhere in Poland, I think. Uh, there we go, maybe I'll try to get it for you as well, I'll see. Now, I think we nearly done there guys because you know going too much too much too much mm. oh that's nice here as well that's nice <clears throat> so look at your canvas look where you have your color where else you could bring your texture to life more where else it needs to be highlighted so this just brings everything nicely together I absolutely adore that I can I think we can call it done unless we wish to add some title and I think the title could be pretty much pretty nice here just some sort of like create or creative or creativity oh creativity if I know how to write it <laughs> creativity I love that now I'm going to finish the coloring and gessoing here that is that is how I love this to be so, uh, so I'm gonna cl close my gesso now and let me think for the title maybe. I have them stickers so I'll see how this will look and will this be any good, any nice? Um, let's see what we could do. Creativity. How to spell it? See. C R C R Lucas, could you spell creativity for me, or check it in Google, Google friend? C E creativity, C E E R, I think. C 
Crea. 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 T. 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 Crea. T. E. E. V. V. Spelling mistake on the canvas would be quite funny. Creative. E again. I again. E. T Y and it will be awesome. I think T Y. Creativity. 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 Cause creativity is exactly what we are using doing here. Being creative and. I encourage you to do so. To be creative. To to be courageous. Courageous? I hope that's the correct word. I'm gonna move that guys. You know what? I love that it's pretty much in 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 the surface is not even, so of course it's not gonna be even. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just move that a little bit. Creati. Thanks Lucas for checking for me. Could you check please? <laughs> He's not gonna say a word. <laughs> I would love him to say something to you guys. But he's laughing sometimes and a joke. He says there's a, can only there can be only one star in, in this relationship, which means me. <laughs> this is just a joke. Um, but that's what he says. He says if they know how how I am, who I am, you know, what if they fell in love in me? <laughs> so this is his joke. So he says, I cannot compete with you, Marta. So you know what? I'm going to get rid of that. Because I'm courageous and I don't mind. And I'm going to get the color back. Two seconds. Uh -huh. A little bit. I hope you know what you understand. I'm not a perfectionist, but sometimes I just need things to be good. And in this case, I have to fix my... Fix that. There we go. And that little uh, that little gluey glue gun thing was on, on my way of my E word. There we go. E letter, sorry. Creativity. There we go. I hope you can understand that. So... I really would love you to be creative in your in your studios, in your kitchen, in kitchens, living rooms, wherever you create. I really would love you to chance it, try it, don't be afraid. You can really do awesome things as you can see from simple things. Just use your imagination. If that was inspirational, if you created something similar, please tag me, let me know. Uh, I would love to see your makes as always. I'm sometimes late in checking them because of too many things is happening, as you can tell with a newborn. Um, but I am trying to <laughs> to come and, and see your makes. So thank you for constant support and shares of the makes inspired by my videos. Oh, I love that now. Creativity. I love it, love it, love it, adore it. Now... I'm thinking, I'm tempted to use one of my butterflies because I looked, I looked at the, the, I looked at the prints that I have and look, this could look pretty nice. I'm going to see if it's nice. If it's not nice, I'm going to discard it, discard it, but I'm going to see if actually this will be cute looking uh, butterfly. Where's my little sticker, my little scissors. So yeah. Don't uh, be afraid of doing things differently than you're supposed to. Just try your hand on things. Just you, Not always you have to finish a project or not always there has to be... Uh, you can always come back to it or you can move on to the next project and leave this one that you don't like. Start over and come back to it at a later stage or just do your, and then do your new take. Sometimes that helps. Now this is this butterfly is from my watercolor prints that many of you have purchased in my Etsy store. So thank you so much. I would love to use more and more of those so you can get your inspirations, especially those of you who already have those butterflies and other prints uh, in the in the house. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support and. 
I have a feeling that color wise this butterfly is gonna be absolutely perfect uh, to our to our canvas now if you don't have my butterflies of course not everyone has it and that's fine you can paint your own try to paint your own based on some butterfly images or you can just go onto my Etsy store and have a look at my sets if you wish there are three different sets of watercolor prints so and I ship worldwide if you wish to have a look now let's see if I'm right if this will be something nice or not I don't know until like even without fussy cutting you you wouldn't feel it you have to fussy cut it to actually feel it and see if it's nice or not so that's what I'm doing I rather fussy cut and see I can change my mind and not add in it uh, but at least I'll oh, I love that it's it's actually I love both ways and I tell you why I love both ways one because I I love that the creativity looks very joint texture wise team wise with the whole uh, canvas the butterfly it's nice because it's just giving our focal point but in this case I'm gonna actually not add it because it's adding different dimension and idea for the canvas which is watercolor which is paper which is something different to the whole canvas so no and the idea is gonna be not used this time <laughs> I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave it as it is unless I'm just thinking thinking out loud uh, if I would add some maybe liquid pearls but no that would be too much Marta and that's perfect as it is isn't it it's a little mechanical looking a little bit like uh, games I don't know what I see but I'm sure that each of us can see something different in this canvas okay that's it. I'm delighted I could be back to you so soon. Uh, I will try to post more often my videos. You know I'm trying my best. The little, the little baby is asleep now so I was able to finish off and she's so good. She really is and so very patient uh, with me. Um, some some of you have said that it's amazing how quiet she was when she was in the previous video on the, t on the little chair next to me. She is very quiet and very good, I have to say. So, um, touch wood, knock the, knock the wood, uh, that's the saying, is it? So nothing will change because it's, it's fingers crossed things are, are gonna be only better and improving. She's already 10 weeks, is she? I, I lost counting, I think she's 10 weeks. Um, do you know what, before I say goodbye, I'm gonna check if the creativity is written correct. Because Lucas says nothing to me. I'm gonna off camera ask him again. <laughs> yeah, my English uh, is improving. Creativity is written correctly. <laughs> so it's good. Look, it looks very... Uh, those butterflies stand out really nice, I have to say. A little bit worse with those three. But no, it looks good. Even hard, it looks good. I could probably use some bit of a pencil around to make this all or, or stand out even more but you know what I'm gonna leave it at that I love it to bits so thank you so much for joining me for this creative journey I hope that those who are uh, in a, uh, those who are seeking for some cheap pr uh, project canvas ideas I hope that this is something different inspirational again for you and something you've been waiting for uh, I'm trying to surprise you with each video I hope I'm doing a good job <laughs> um, yes between um, being a mom feeding and looking after the family and house and all I'm thinking of the future videos always for you um, any suggestions are always welcome any suggestions in the comment section are always welcome um, so yes I'm gonna definitely finish at that I'm gonna wish you a beautiful wonderful week many creative moments guys because creativity cre creating is our sanity it's it's needed and even today I said Lucas I said Lucas I have to go to my studio I'm sorry I'm going off I'm going you can burp the baby you can you can have her now <laughs> I'm going I need to create and I need to record so I'm glad I did I'm gonna post it SAP I hope you will like that um, yeah and have fun creating your own recycled rubbish canvases reversed canvases it was fun and 
I had to be honest, very unexpected finished piece in a way because you never know how the colors will go with the texture and all. And to those who think I'm talking too much, I'm not gonna change that guys because I know you love when I talk too much, when I talk a lot. You know, you love and you do say that chatting of mine is part of those videos. So those who are, uh, those who don't like it, please just fast forward don't watch the videos where I chat so much or just play some other music, turn off the volume, speed it up or whichever, you know, I think I love that way of communicating with you as well, so that's not going to change probably. Of course, sometimes I post videos where I'm shorter or music on, but usually this type of video is in, in your liking the most, so that's it. <laughs> I need a sip of water. <laughs> that much how I, that's how I, how much I chat. Happy crafting and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye. Bye bye. Um I'm back because I thought, you know what? How about having a butterfly there? It actually look it it does actually look good now. <laughs> I cannot I cannot uh Oh that's nice. I cannot make up my mind. I actually like the fact that this line goes down there. It's like a butterfly on a stick. You know what? I'm gonna have a think about it and decide. But I think I made chance and added this butterfly actually. Since it's my signature thing, the butterflies are Marta's thing. So yeah, yeah. Happy crafting!